foxy brain this pinky. I won't hold back. Coincidentally, I think I also met at the uh, North American Regionals many months ago, aka NARF, so we got all kinds of jokes today. Hopefully the jokes are just out of my mouth, not the gameplay. Let's see what happens. So LPN, for those who don't know, is our currently reigning Discord champion. And so far he's doing pretty good. Opens up Pinky with the overhead, but sadly he just walked right into the Junkyard combo. Law's Junkyard combo can punish things most characters can't. Just Not just the range it reaches, but it actually starts up pretty fast too. And obviously it's easy convertible into the full target combo, or uh, you can just stop it midway and he's still pretty an advantage. Oh, nice. Good delay of challenge spin kicks. Here comes Jin. Jin is very much a tryhard character. In fact, when I faced Pink um, after Summer Jam a couple years ago, I actually called his team, you're playing Team Tryhard on me. I'm tired, I just woke up, what are you doing? Because, like, well, let's see, all right. For now, though, LPN is pretty much in control, so I'll talk about Jin when he's building momentum. For now, though, this is all barring and jury. That thing's actually pretty hard to block in certain situations. Um, so good that, uh, Pink's blocking that way. Ah, uh, you flinched! Yeah, most laws are gonna be, uh, doing the crouch and medium punches off of that standing heavy kick. So if you can, if it's not too early, or if it's not too, uh, not too long in the match, you might want to have an early raw launch test in your set to see if law players will keep pressing that button. And that'll stop from just doing it, being that close heavy is pretty advantageous. Ooh, you were dashing, but Flaw's stand light kick reaches so far and it's so fast. So many far-reaching fast buttons this martial artist has. I do believe martial law is supposed to be Kanaka, California. So right now, LPN is getting roughed up by his fellow states. Look at this. All the way to Fornia go, and here comes Jin. Jin Kazama, one of the sub-bosses of this game. Ah, uh, hear my voice. All right, there we go. Hatch from the volume down, we'll get fixed. Anyway, so Jin's crouching life on three frames. And as you're seeing, Pink is challenging it or challenging LPN with that button. Sorry, I'm totally warmed up. And he's got a lot of success off of it. He took a pretty uh, close round last time. And he still has pretty good life, like even as Jury finishes combo, LPN was thinking side switch, but Pink is not impressed. Come on. It's still slightly in Pink's favor. But good. Waited for that raw tag. Quar was low on health. Jury had to take it, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's going to kill, actually. All right, strong first game from Pink. Not so dinky. He is Pinky and the one with the brain. And thanks to his brainy ways, he's now up one nothing. Open your soul to the battle. Okay. Just Pink being up one to nothing. <laughs> There we go. Right. You still heard me towards the end, right? Yes. Awesome. It was like echoing really bad, so I turned my volume down when I tried to turn the mic off too. Oh, that was me because I was making a clip and I forgot to mute it. So you heard ah, the echo no worries. from yourself. Well, I see people gathering in the chat. Yeah, guys, come check out LPN versus Pink. I'm ready. Fight. Right now, Pink is up one nothing. Take on him. I won't hold back. It's all on the line. Okay, so I would like to see LPN do a little bit more checking, not just of his own buttons, but to check himself when he tries coming in. Something that Pink loves to do, from what little I played him a couple years ago, and he can afford to do it, is he loves checking people when they try to walk in and tap with light punches or light kicks and then try and tick throw or frame trap and stuff. And his button's far enough, and in Jin's case, it's fast enough at three frames to easily link off of those tests into 
minimum a third your health. What I want to see LPN do is I want to see LPN find a sweet spot where if Pink tries to tap him, he will get a whiff punish off of it. So far though, looks like Pink has things well in control in terms of neutral. That is something that both Law and Jin do really well. Both of them have fantastic anti-airs. And I think with the way Pink is just completely dominating the ground right now, look how long that was. That was three frames too. If Warhong tried testing it, he might not have won. He might have gotten opened up and just full linked and stuff. But you're seeing how easily Jin can convert off almost anything he has in his arsenal. Okay. But, at the same time, LPN's jumping a lot. You don't want to jump too much on Jin or Law, because both their main anti airs have full air crush. Uh, whoa! Okay, that converted! And it's still going! Not, it's a little link into all that damage. Brown is Pink's favor again, from the looks of it. Uh, uh no! Ah, oh, nice. So typically, LPN likes to go for an overhead there. He was hoping that Pink had opened up, but uh, not so lucky. Anyway, despite what you guys may hear me say as a snafu, it's PG Pink, not PG Punk, who sounds very similar, but today is PG Pink. All right. Stuff from LPN though, taking that route. Oh, good, neutral jump, okay. So that's what I want to see more of. LPN is being a little bit more, uh... He's, he's starting to see some of the habits that Pink likes to do. And you have to, because against this team of Law and Jin, they are someone who will be not only exerting their will, but they'll be crushing your will because they have so many tools to keep you from doing the stuff you want to do. Especially if you're Jury, who likes to be in the air a lot. Oh, snap. You, you know, the, the Alpha with the raid? Damn. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so Pinky here has yeah. raided us. Good to see you, Pinky. All right. Uh, uh, is that dead? Not quite. But look at all this bar. You can just ship him out. There's nothing oh. left. All right, here we go. Four characters. Let's do it. Someone's getting hit. Whoa, okay. LPN survived. Ah, uh, never mind. He jumped. Oh well. Yo, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys, damn. You guys all here. Well, you know, shout out to Punk for the raid. We just started, guys. Uh, we just started live at the tournament. So since y'all all here, like, we're, we're gonna show for a bit. Try, try to raise right. some money for, for the players. So, so if you're raiding, then I can lift the veil. It's uh, PG Pug. That's Pink, but he actually called PG Pink today, so that's what we're gonna call him. For those yes. who didn't realize it immediately. Pink is punk. Yeah, guys. All right, so anyway, since you live, yo, hit up that match arena real quick. Um, and definitely support the players out. Uh, you can use the promo code PSYCHOBLUE2. You'll donate 50 cents to the prize pool free. Let's go. And we got sponsor quests from Lenovo Legion, G Fuel Energy, Cremo. We got $3 in surveys. We have $3 in free surveys. Minute of your time, you're going to donate to the prize pool. A lot. Uh, a lot of chips. We got Manscaped, too. G Fuel, Legion, Twitter Quest, YouTube Quest. Look at all these ways to donate for free. And then we throwing in the chips from the last event that we had. You see Psycho Blue's number one donor right there, $84. So let's so, go, guys. So I, so I should note that $84 isn't just all my money. That's also the money it said it that right there. Uh, Kupo donated last time. Yeah, it said it in the uh, note because you put it yep. there. Kupo, who got top three last time, sadly could not join us this weekend. But he gives his regards. I think he's uh, back at work at the gym on uh, his home. I believe he's San Francisco. Shoutouts to the Cali boys who are still very much in full force. You see LPN here. And uh, trying to stave off a trip of losers. He is down 2 nothing. So the way Discord cross second tournament works, this is something that was innovated by our founder, Salt, is he wants everything to be first to three. Um, I'm not gonna do that when offline events return and I'm running cross second again. But for the Discord tournaments, given that we're all online, we want to get our games in. We figured it'd be good because we tried doing it the classic way. No one liked it. They preferred the first to three. 
Anyway. So LPN, because of that, has one more chance, but it is not looking good. Look at Pink. He's just slowly walking up to the corner. And all right, so typically he anti-aired there, but do not be jumping on Law that much. Straight up against Law, jumping is banned. That's how good his anti-air is. So Law's medium flip kick will beat everything in front of him, and the light uh, flip kick will beat everything that tries to cross him up. And both of them will result in, you'll see it right there, result in full combos. So all your momentum is gone. Oh no, LPN thought he had Paul, but Punk is waiting his turn. And the big fat punish with even fatter damage. Obese American damage from PG Pink. All right. Oh, look at that perfectly spaced overhead. Got the big ground bounce too. Oh, got it again! LPN says I can be ridiculous too. Oh no, that could be costly. Uh, 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 uh. So many fierce punches. Over the dark hole. Got blocked, but got opened up anyway. You missed it again. Come on. Mental alertness is a very strong reversal for Jin. Mental alertness too? Oh man. I've seen so many rounds just get snatched from people. They're pressing buttons or mental alertness too on their wake up. Ugh, okay, speaking of pressing buttons, it looks like Law was doing something, but Jerry silenced him. LPN is still alive. Also, if I can switch between Pink and Punk, I apologize. It's all or nothing now. Fight. Okay. Oh no. We were talking about it earlier, the Junker combo just lunging at people. You have to respect that. Oh, raw launcher! All right, forget respect. Let's just go for it. Little block right there. But you want to be careful if you're jury and you're running out of real estate throw buttons. Oh, whoa, okay. Looks like LPM was thinking dive kick, but Jin Karoff at the pass with that mental alertness three. Still, Ooh, it's close. I would say slightly in Pug's favor just because he has a full bar of health and that's dead. All right. Pinky is up. Three, nothing, and moves forward to winner's finals. Let's see who his opponent is going to be. Open your Dang, guys. I know, right? Yep. Look at this uh, bubblicious color scheme that he's got going. Alright, so give me a sec to get the uh, next match going. No worries. Actually, no. Alright, Striker and Carnage. Let's see if Carnage can teach those fools who actually rules. But I would not count out Striker. Striker has been training with a lot of really good players the last month. He is making sure he makes his climb up. Uh, Cause he's been gay kept out of a lot of events even before we got here. Um, I know I beat him oh, oh. At, the, at the final PSN tournament with oh, that one. Oh, by the way, shout out whoever used the Sonic SMS just now. We see you, we see you using it. See, it's $2, guys. Two dollars. Go on. Two dollars, like the paper boy. All right. Oh, stop! Kazuya was thinking push kick. Law was thinking no. We're using this crouching medium kick, and now you're in the corner yet again. Look at all this pain. Speaking of pain, here comes Hugo. Very much the author, publisher, and distributor of pain. Whoa, that was quite evasion. Oh, good. Okay, Carnage was uh. Wanting to see what that fuss gonna do, and then just before that big leader came out, Electric Wind God Fist. That armor only has one hit, unfortunately. Can't just be flexing on everything. Mm -hmm. Look at all this swaying back and forth. Ah, uh, but he got chased down. Let me see a lot of that Junker combo this tournament I imagine between what Striker's doing, what Pink's doing. Striker looking relentless. Right there. 
Uh, for those who don't know, that, uh, baseball slide that Law's doing, if you hit the right spot, combo off of it. But I think Striker doesn't want to really risk, uh, getting the wrong read on that slide, so he just keeps his split throws. That's the worst idea. Uh, good tagging. Law would still be safe, but having Hugh with that much more health pretty much guarantees that time over. First blood goes to Striker. Do you have what it takes? And Carnage got top three last time, too, if I recall correctly. Another NorCal individual. So if the striker can put out Carnage here, this would probably be his first winner's finals appearance in the Peace Tournament. Because I don't think he's ever gotten uh, on the winner's side of winner's finals. I might be wrong, but I think any time I've seen him, it's always on the loser's side. And, uh, Salt, or all the other mods in the chat that's in right now, because I saw Salt posting earlier. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but this would, I think, would be Striker's best run if he can stop it here. Yo, shout out to whoever uses Sonic SMS, putting us at over $100 right now. Thank you. I guess my glowing endorsement worked. Yeah. Oh, look at that! That big elbow on top of your head, that's an overhead! In Kansas the Raw launch, so, whoa! You gotta be feeling that one. Someone get this guy some CTE testing. The concussion protocols in place. Get a stretcher while you're at it. Because Phantom Striker has just squashed Kazia and his car and Carnage, and now up one nothing. Bought this game for T and can't make it work online. Well, I'm sure a striker or salt the chat can fix that for you. All right. Okay. Yeah. So Hugo got nerfed pretty bad in that final patch for this game. But one thing he did get was a lot of damage. He had it before, but now they just made it even more so. Put all of his damage stats at max, but they took all his other stuff that was really good and kind of made it not so good. 36? A not so good of an exchange. Yeah, 36. Hey Shadowway, it's good to see ya! So, I remember Shadowway stopping by my uh, room at, I believe, final round years ago. We made it, Ace! Okie dokie. Oh, okay, Carnage is switching up with King on point and Jack in the back. I know I've said a lot about King being an anchor character, but I don't think... I don't know, I guess I'm just want to say I'm comfortable with King in the in front. He has some good buttons for it, so I would just have Jack in the front. I think Jack's a better point character than King, is my opinion. But that's just me. I'm just calling, I'm not playing it. Whoa, good swing. I think, uh, oh, okay. Tried to backdash, but got that elbow. Thankfully, it was a uh, knockdown and not a standing hit, because that would have been raw launch into law. Oh, try to get away? No worries. Big Lariat. Unfortunately, Hugo's speed is not so good, so those button checks, once again... Ah, oh, no, you didn't finish the button check. He wants to check Hugo, being the speed of his buttons is not so great. Um, that is something I want to see Striker uh, kind of experiment more. Use Hugo's range, not his speed. Oh, no! Carnage got a little bit too overzealous, and... Striker lets him live for a little bit longer, but it's looking pretty dire. Striker playing with his food. And then just uh, kicks it right down. Sharpen your senses. What will happen next? Fight! Okay, okay. So, what I want to see Carnage do is if Law goes airborne, I want him to use either Crouching Heavy Punch or Light Jaguar Bomb to completely pulse whatever momentum... Well, that works too. Uh, for those who don't know, that far Heavy Kick of King, that is, uh, it's slightly off the ground, so it'll beat a lot of low attacks. It's really good for whiff punishes like that, so that was actually really good for Carnage to use. And that means that Strike had to be more careful using his Crouching Medium Kick because he likes that move. Most laws do, it's a fantastic move. It actually comes out faster than the animation would lead you to believe. 
Like, when Law sticks his leg out, it feels like it hits you before the leg's all the way out. It's really strange. So it's hard to do... It's hard to kind of block a reaction. Ooh, jump in! Big, heavy punch. Alright, here comes Jack the boy. Oh no! Wake up! And the big moonsault press! Okay, I like this. Something, I can see what Carnage wants, but if Carnage wants to be able to use the geysers and those safe rock uppercuts, he has to defend the sky. He needs to make sure Hugo just can't jump in. And if he can do that with the medium rock uppercut, or just use that, one or the other, just completely shut down Hugo. You don't even need to use the anti at that point, because Hugo can't do anything to deal with those geysers. They're just too fast, they hit twice, and with that little time, that was all Carnage's game. Look at this, swaying back and forth. You see that? Look at this dance. First you go to the front, then you go to the back. Step forward, step back, and do the dosi -si do Such back between these two players for them to kind of uh, sway back and forth like that. <laughs> we talked about it earlier. Striker, stop doing that move! Fuck, you got hit again! You're looking at getting raw launch, man. Come on. Ah, there we go. Check them. Now it's time for Jack to make this happen. But here comes the cross assault. Better hope you don't clear your hit in. Who got hit? Oh, ho, ho, okay. Usually when that happens, um, the animation starts. But I suppose Hugo blocked it before Law got hit. So I guess for every that stopped the animation. That's a uh, crouch medium kick, not a crouch light kick, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. Goes for the hard knockdown. What is the mix gonna be? Oh, it just lets him out. Okay. I guess he didn't want to eat any uh, EX Moonsault presses. Nice. Use the double hitting properties of that stay medium kick to bring in Law. A lot more health. Let me something happen. There's. Oh, no, that's not safe. And neither is that. Oh, man. Striker, you just got. Given the gift of the gods that free punish. Still lost turn, still lost turn. At least with that character. Some characters can punish that uh block this fearish um with fast enough and far enough. Normals, I don't think King's one of them. And if he is, obviously Karn was not hitting his punishes properly because that's how he lost that round. He missed the punish and uh finished the combo that didn't exist, and that was exactly what Striker needed. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah. yeah, thirty-five. I dislike the game because of the timer. I like the timer in this game. The fact that timer is such a factor, that's why I love it. You just have to learn how to play lamer, my friend. Alright. Here we go. Oh no! Good whip punish. So you can tell Karn is definitely thinking about how Striker's gonna fire back with her counter poke. And then he gets out of harm's way and just, uh, whip punish as needed. Ah, good jump in. So yeah, that is, uh, like any zoning character, you have to watch when you're doing your zoning attacks. Off the wall with a big moonsault press. And flexed right through the reversal. King could not come in in time. Striker is now on set point. Do you have what it takes? You're wide open. Ugh. Yep. Unfortunately, if not hitting that punish, it is still Law's turn. What I always do when I block that move as Bison, I always make sure I use my stand like my fast normal three frame. I think with King, he might want to use his Crouching Light Punch. It's not three frames, but it does reach pretty far. Might be able to catch him. But I do know, even if it's not safe, 
it's not nearly as unsafe as it should be. I think it's like minus five, six-ish on block and online. That's pretty hard to punish. This is an online tournament after all. Good anti-air. Oh, good, even better anti-air and a full combo. And here comes Hugo. He has you in the corner. He's looking to make some uh, crushed aluminum right now. Ah, good. Dives there, and here comes King. What is the Oki gonna be? Oh! Shining Wizard! Hugo was thinking some kind of reversal. King had none of it. Orange is saying, I'm not done yet. Switching to standby mode. There's no turning back. Fight. Yeah, but now MVT3 was kind of questionable. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Yeah, people forget there was a tsunami not long after that uh, Vanilla Marvel 3 hit, so they couldn't really update it like they could because their office that would do it was underwater. Tsunami or the first I forget which one. Anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Unfortunately, you need a tank kill after the last of the Shaolin kick in. Uh, uh, oh no, Carnage! Oh, Chase down! Chase down! This time it was Striker's turn to uh, chase down King, and it worked in a huge way. Striker will be going to Winners Finals to face Punk as he advances 3 nothing. Meanwhile, let us go to the loop. Alright, let me focus on this. Alright, yo, we got Balrog in top eight. Alright, I'm hyped now. Balrog in top eight, let's go. We've had Vega and King, I mean Spice been here a whole bunch of times. But I think this is not only uh, Jason's first tournament. This is also Jason's first top eight. He's doing with Balrog, who is at the bottom of the tier list. I play him all the time, so I say it in a nice way. He does have some problems. It's more for the fact that his numbers aren't really in alignment where they should be. I think when they patched him, they forgot to fix some things when they did, so his juggle points like all over the place in the worst possible way. But on the bright side, most of his boost combos are pretty safe unless you're facing Maw. Like, against like. Three quarters of cast, Rock can just press buttons it will not worry about getting punched ever. That's the truth. That's probably the only good thing he has, but if you're uh just wanna solid Ooh, good, look at that. No, I invent that juggle. I put that juggle down on Twitter, so I really hope that someone's actually using it in the tournament. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. I checked, no one was doing it but me when I posted on Twitter a few months ago. Alright, here comes Abel. Abel is super underrated. So I talked about Balrog not being good. For some reason, people think Abel's not good, but Abel's actually really strong. I'd say he's solid mid-tier, but man, he can just completely decimate you if you're not careful. So I'm hyped to see what Abel can do, because I think Abel is always slept on this. And I really don't know why. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Might be a bit too late. Yeah, he's got another one. It's not going to do it. Spicy narrowly grabs the time over. Uh, look at that. He just uh, went long there. Look at neutral dump though. Fuck. Uh, yeah, watch your buttons. Fortunately, well, Bowers' buttons are really good. They're not quite Vega good. Uh, 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 uh. Brown is all spicy. Oh, you could have done more than that. Come on. Okay. He's letting him get away with way too much right now. He's got to finish it. Oh, no. And he might have a chance. Here comes Abel. And if he can get in that tornado of pain, this might be uh, a round for Jason. Here, let 
There we go. Okay, sorry, I had the chat blocking my view. Alright, so... I think this is the first time Jason has faced King... Wait, no, because Striker plays King, too. So, I don't know. I guess he's not used to this particular style of King. Because he just kind of got, uh... Didn't really know what to do there. Alright, so... Spicy is now up one nothing. You absolutely don't want to have King walk over you like that. Because that's what King wants. He is, even though his grapples are 50-50, he's still someone who needs to be in your face to really scare you. I would say, like, uh... Right at the edge of striking distance and closer is where King's really scary. The whiff punish buttons and, of course, the uh, the mixes with his elbow stuff or the shining wizard, the giant swing, or just uh, Jaguar step into things. He has all kinds of ways. He has frame traps too, and of course, all his bread and butters hurt like no tomorrow. So this is someone you definitely want to uh, check in buttons with. And Balrog can definitely do it against King. I should know, I've been playing Balrog a lot the last three years, since that one Evo that uh, I played your turn up. So I think Balrog, yeah, he's got problems, but there's also a game where everyone's viable. So Balrog can definitely make it work. All he has to do, being that Vega has some pretty uh, goofy anti-airs, if he can find a way, there you go, if he can find a way to just jump on Vega if he's trying to stick out a poorly placed crouching medium punch, it's going to really be suck for him. I wouldn't recommend trying to headbutt though. It's too slow and it's too easy to react to if you're not doing anything. Or open people up with it. There he goes. Swift for the fences. Oh no! Now you got jumped in. I do believe Jason's on the west coast. I'm sure he's thinking about okay. I can't be uh, jumping too much, that's not fundamentally sound, but against Vega, who has no anti-airs, I'd say go for it first and then consider what else to do if they're doing something about it. Because Vega needs a lot of resources to really scare people if they're jumping at him. Oh no, you had jumped in! Thankfully, no conversion. See, I'm talking about earlier. One, you want to uh, be sure you catch Vega out of the air, even just with crouching heavy punch. It won't let you any combos like it does with Love, but at least it stops from getting momentum. And two, you want to also test the jumps against Vega, because his own anti-airs are pretty sus. I've seen Spicy use uh, the old Super Turbo double Scarlet Terror as an anti-air, but... You had to be at a very specific spot to do it. I love that combo. I'm really glad he's using it. Alright. Oh no! Wake up and the EX arm drag? Tagging in Vega Raw. Wants to have big life lead. Now Abel's got to try and fight his way in. Oh no! Jumped in again, but no! Finish! Uh, oh no, yeah, I didn't get that time. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do consistently. I was trying to do it in the lab today. I forgot the timing. Uh, uh, that's dead. Uh, tap out! I love that the slow effect where he taps out at the end. Caught the sharpshooter. Spicy is now up 2 nothing. Run your mouth better than you punch. Look at the smack talk in these win quotes. All individualized for each character. <laughs> yeah, I can tell, Jace. I see him in the chat. It's good to see you, man. But yeah, that's just my opinion. But yeah, I've been playing Balrog for about three years. Um, at this point, they're my number two team. Even though uh, my team Balrog Marduk is not really that great, I play enough to kind of know like what they need to do in certain matchups, especially this one. So my recommendation, and let, we'll see if you actually follow through upon it um, as this set goes on, is you want to kind of test to see if they use the anti consistently, 
because one of Balrog's best buttons is his jump heavy kick. That big straight down punch. And you can nab with it, it's gonna have a lot of hits to it. And obviously, if uh, they block it, you're still not really in a bad spot against Vega, because Vega's reversal are pretty doo doo too. He needs at least two bars to get some consistent. Like, his best reversal is super. Oh, it's good overhead, and he got the link. Yeah, a lot of kings up close are gonna be using that uh, double elbow target combo, and then they're gonna either mix in the final hit, the overhead, or they'll just do a low attack, and then they will do whatever they want to do next. Good neutral jump evasion. All right, here we go. So something that Jason might be thinking, if he's keeping at that range, he's probably thinking if um, King tries to get silly, I will just EX Chariot attack on him. And that's a like wall bounce and that's a lot of damage. And it gets you the Oki you need as Abel to start the throw mix ups again. Yes, for those who don't know, Abel has Chariot Tackle as a regular special attack. It's also his uh, CADC move, in the EX version, that one. It also pretty safe on block, too. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's a hard one to hit. So if you're missing it, I don't blame it. It's a hard one. Sadly, uh, Balrog's post-launch combos are also pretty sucky. All right. All defense gems burning for Spicy, and he needs them. Uh, suplex. It's... Maybe? Oh no! Checked out! Spicy is on set point! Watch your advance! Yeah, in this game, if you check people as they're trying to approach you, you can get a lot of really nice damage off of them. Momentum shift really quick in this game thanks to that. So watch your approach. If you get checked, you might lose a uh, third of your health. Good, uh, neutral jump heavy kick. Didn't get the full follow-up, though. Ooh, watch your feet, my friend. I know you're a boxer, but in this battle, anything goes. Like Ali versus Inoki. Ugh. Spicy smells blood in the water. Here comes the cross assault. What's gonna happen? Oh, no, they're just completely ruining each other's momentum, so... If the AI didn't do that move when that Chariot Tackle hit, that would have been a much bigger problem than what wound up being. Everyone just getting each other's way there. Man, look at that. Perfect face jump heavy punch from King. That hard to end here. It's pretty active all the way through. You can get your combos off of that uh, Crouch Heavy Punch, Jason. Um, what I like to do is uh, Crouch Heavy Punch, and then I do the Wheel Kick. Then the ground bounce, and then the uh, step kick, step forward, and then stand heavy punch into the air throw. That's about, with no jump in, 390-ish, I think. It's a lot, and there's no mirror. It's actually one of Abel's few combos that aren't just uh, Street Fighter 4 crossover. Uh, uh, uh. Hang it in there. Oh, no, he got opened up at the last moment. At the buzzer, we're going into overtime, ladies and gentlemen. It's not over yet. The fat lady has not sung yet. In fact, I heard she has strep. She has been sidelined. Now you have the uh, considerably thinner lady from that crossover within flames. Siren charms. <clears throat> it's uh, two out. Ooh, it's tense. Okay, I think Jade's trying to figure out what to do here. Yeah, also, Balrog's uh, follow-ups off of that are pretty doo-doo, too. That's why I said it. The reason why Balrog's low tier is his numbers, particularly his juggle point numbers, are completely out of sync compared to everybody else in this game. And there's no real reason why that is. Um, one of our scientists did some number work and changed some numbers on Balrog's juggle points to make him nor more normalized for other characters. He had actual conversions after that. So all they had to do was fix a juggle. Oh no, you're getting way too crazy, Spicy. All right. YOLO dash punch tag in. Oh no, jumped in. You Not enough hits done. Time, it is Jason's turn. And he's hitting this combo so consistently. I love it. Uh, uh, EX arm drag. Starting to fade a bit, by the way, Arturo. Oh, I see. Well, yeah. you, you, know, well, I see. You, you sound totally fine to me, by the way. 
Got it. It's not. Thank it's you. not. It's, it's not, not affecting. Copy. It's not affecting the stream. Got it. Thank you. All right. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Jason's still in this. Yeah, Bowser's got problems, but he does have some fun stuff. Red team wins. And his button do some decent brain. All right, it's clear now. Thank you. It's uh, still 2-1 spicy, but Jason, let's see if he can make the most of that opportunity, because that looked all spicy until the very last moment of that second round of the last game, and Jason held on and took a game. And sometimes moments like that that can get in your head if you're on the wrong end of it. Just look at the Warriors. Just look at the Falcons. All the choke jobs. That's not to say Jason is not capable. That's saying if you can give a player like that any kind of space just when you thought you had him beat, that can be uh, pretty intimidating. Because that can also be the booster the other guy needed to really get confident. He is quite patient. He waited for it. He tried to roll into those DMs, but Bowak said, nah, have a jump heavy punch for your troubles. The big palm, no says no. Uh, suplex city, suplex number two. Good anti-air. Uh. Ooh, that's an overhead, by the way. So good block from Spicy. Uh, uh, uh. All right, tornado throw time. We got some grappler games going. Oh, no! What were you pressing? Just ate that all in! Jay's trying to figure it out right now. He's like, okay, I'm getting some hits in. Spicy's like, what's going on here? It's all falling apart! Ooh, backdash and tornado throw. Okay. Barak gets in just as he can block. Alright, this is bad. Oh, no, never mind. This is bad for King, but he just jumped right in. Yeah, Bow Extreme's really good too, but that range against King, you want to be looking in the air, not on the ground. Uh, uh. There'll be a range where King is thinking ground stuff, and that's where you can start testing for sweeps and stuff. But at that range, you better have uh, an, an anti air ready. So yeah, the one range Bow is good at is with the life lead and uh, them trying to get in. And then they get complacent, and they think you're just going to turtle there. That's when you can maybe open up the overhead. So overhead this game hurts, especially meter lift. You just need any meter convert off the overhead this game. Uh-huh. 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 conversion. Here comes King. Varog on the wrong end of the life. He's got to fight in for a bit. So, King is falling in love with that jump heavy punch. I wonder if, uh, Barog's crouch heavy might beat it. Oh no! Again! Shining Wizard, but nobody home! Ooh, good conversion there. Uh, uh, uh! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. oh no! You knew it! Come on! You knew what to do, Spicy. Anyway, F5, and that seals the deal. Cannot stop the F5. It beat the Undertaker. It beat death itself. What will you do, Jaguar Man, other than lose your lead? For now, it is tied at two. Next game takes it no matter what. <laughs> oh, that's right. Like, uh, one super was called Heartless, it was called Soulless, but now they're calling it Brainless in the chat. I like that. Oh, you can also cancel it in this game, too. For, like, the real Galaxy Brain stuff. Uh, great! That was only 300 damage. actually one of the least damaging supers in the game. It just hit raw because of man grab. I think, uh, Jason had some attack damage burning, too. Probably hurt more than normally would. King the Fairy... Oh, no! I think, uh... 
No, Felicia came, I think, the same year as King. 94, 95. <laughs> like, I have to reach back from, like, uh, looking at the Tekken box at Hannaford, where King was, like, super janky looking on the Tekken 1 box. Anyway. Look at all that frame advantage. Push Balrog all the way to the corner. Time for the throws. See, uh, Spicy kind of carefully... Oh, no! Oh, no! So, yeah, I talked about Balrog being mostly safe with those things. Vegas one of those that can actually punish it. So you can't really see what I mean in that situation, just because it's Vega. Vega can punish things, most people can't. Especially when the claw's on. Oh no, am I pressing buttons? EX Tornado Throw, and now it is Jason on set point! What a turn of events! Oh no, I have deep jumps. No finish though. Keep it modest for now, I guess. Oh no, where were you blocking, my friend? Jason yeah, getting a dodge there. Coming in with that turn punch. Ah, uh, suplex. Ah ha! So for those who don't know, you can actually raw launch that. Um, a reaction if they're doing that move raw. I don't think uh, Jason knows that, and uh, why should he? He's kind of new to this game, but the fact that he has taken the CEO champ to the limit is pretty impressive. For those who don't know, Spicy won CEO last year for this game. So Jason just got here, and he already has a solid set of not just fundamentals, but that mental clutch where when things look completely dire, he was able to kind of hang on and bring it all the way to this final round. Yeah, EX is safe striker, but I think he can raw launch it on reaction before it hits you. Because Ice was doing it to me earlier when I was playing him with Vega. Ah! Ah, not the right one, though. Yeah, the, uh... It hits twice, but... If it, it can only juggle if it hits twice. That's the unfortunate. You gotta hit it deep for it to really juggle. Alright. Spicy's feeling it. Down to the wire. Shining Wizard. Abel is in a bad spot right now. Oh, you missed the Shining Wizard. Alright, it's gotta be Bowser who saves the day now. Abel has no health, and King can just breathe on him and take out Abel at this point. Uh, make it count, my friend. Still mostly in spice. Oh, no! I don't know what you're doing there. Maybe thinking backdash and try to get a Jaguar bomb, but instead, Jason kind of held true, and it's still... Oh! Trade! Man, I didn't realize that move would trade. I thought it would have been clean, but I guess not, just because the tackle has so much priority. Lightly. Oh, no! Ch oh. Thankfully, did convert. Oh! Anti air! Anti-air turn punch has saved the day! Yo! Balrog! With his big body health hangs in there! And in a thriller takes it over Spicy Steve 3 to 2. That was pretty sick. Yeah, that was crazy. Point. Again. I think Nina should be the one on point. Just based on the basic meta of this game. But I will see what this uh, sponsored player and gamer has up his sleeve. Meanwhile, Scrubs vs. You, I don't think I've played this guy before, but I'm really curious to see what he's got. I know uh, someone's hyping up his uh, team really well. And right now I can see why. Because here comes Jin with the win button. The god kick, jump heavy kick. And it's not only super fast on startup, and it lingers a long time, but it crosses you up and hits the front in a very ambiguous way. Like, it looks really ambiguous coming at you. You might think it's a cross-up, but it's really not. It's kind of like uh, Bruce's cross-up medium kick, actually. Just hurts more, and comes out faster. So far, uh, Scrubs is making quick work of Endgamer so far, but still only one round. Good anti here. That's something Endgamer likes to do. He, he likes using that uh, big crouching heavy punch of Sakura to get people to stop jumping at her. Alright. 
Uh, you got checked, my friend. Here comes Nina. Hashtag play Nina. We actually gave away a shirt that said hashtag play Nina Evo 2014. It was really funny. I think we gave it to a uh, second or third place that year. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm about to say. If that uh, autocorrect actually hit, my goodness. I'm assuming he was thinking uh, cross assault, but just got crossed up the wrong time. He just got this game a few weeks ago. And he's already doing these uh, weird, um, I'll mess up your autocorrect stuff. That's like high level tech, messing up cross assaults. I've seen people uh, get people if they want to do cross assault, they get accidental Pandora and then they just went around. So funny. The fact you make your opponents forfeit with uh, autocorrect tech, it's so good. Unfortunately, it seems like Scrubs is not impressed as he takes the round and takes the first game. Well, that's not true, Tesla. Dante's pretty ridiculous. Yes, yeah, shout out that way. We have a whole bunch of Sakuras lately. Remember Koopo? He was uh, in top three last time. Yeah, he was definitely yeah, he was definitely top three. He earned it too. That was really good. Alright, scrubs is up one nothing. How good is Lily in this game? I would say mid upper mid. She's kind of like a prototype Rashid. Just the way she plays, the way her buttons work. But in this game, it's 2 1 2. It's not nearly as intimidating as it would be Street Fighter V. Still pretty good, though, but not quite that good. Anyway. Ugh! Throwing fireballs right in uh, Jim's face. Yeah, that is something. Endgamer is new, but when I was playing him, I did notice he quickly found out Sakura's best button for playing neutral. Stand heavy kick and crouch heavy punch. Checking with crouch medium kick. Okay. Crouch medium is actually pretty good, too. Good air to air. Yeah, Endgamer, as I said, there's a reason why people pay his bills for Street Fighter V. He's got some pretty good instincts, even though he's new at this game. Ooh, okay. So you just need to hope that um, Moon doesn't anti-air you, because Light Kick Geyser is full air crush and leads to full combos, just like Law. Uh, uh. Your guard has been broken, and so has your arm! And Gamer takes a pretty convincing first game in game two. First round. Blech. Okay. Floor kicks the face. Perfectly spaced. Just so you can do more crouching heavy punches. Academic. Fitting that Sakura is a high school student because that was his academic is one, two, and three. Uh, uh, the math doesn't lie. The numbers don't lie. And, uh, uh, unfortunately, that trade might have been a little bit more deceptive, I think. Um, Shrove's expecting just win clean. Typically it does. It's really nice reversal. Uh, 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 uh. Nina rolls out of the corner, but of course gets jumped on by the god kick. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, you just missed it. Chip out? Yes! Either caught you overhead or chipped you out. Either way, you were put on the floor. And it's going to round three. All right, it just hit him clean. So yeah, for that move, it's a low and then it's an overhead. The good news is if you block both, it's super unsafe. So you're not going to see Jin just throw it all the time. But in that situation, though, uh, Nino is pretty screwed. Nino was about to get chipped out. Nina might have been able to get the uh, EX guys reversal though, but oh well, hindsight. End game. If you're watching this, that's just my opinion. I'm only try that next time you're in the situation. All right. Big jump in. All right, please don't jump at Nina too much. You're gonna get geysered. Fortunately for Scrubs, it seems like End Gamer has not gotten the rhythm for that yet. Scrubs is now up 2 0.
All right. It's uh two nothing. Yep. Watch that. Let's do this. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big jump in, okay. I think Scrubs is starting the hang of uh, exactly where Endgamer is right now. Because last couple of games, all right, finally checked. Uh, Jin has a really wacky overhead. He had to hit it like four times to get actual links off. It's really strange. Like, uh, you know that move he got starting Tekken 4 where he did the uh, overhead kick? Uh, forward, forward, three, and then he did the five hit? That's basically what that move is, but he can stop after like hit four to make like a new link and a full combo. It's really wacky. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. I was saying all these good things about Scrubs before, about maybe having a read on where Endgamer is, but sadly it seems like the reads are in Endgamer's favor. Because where Endgamer is at is taking that first round. I mean, wow. What about the corner was over? Just decimated. And Endgamer just got the game a few weeks ago. Again, more players with uh, very quick learning skills. Good stuff. Yes, the game made the EVE up until uh, 2018. So, yeah. You said nowhere to look. It's all recorded, too, so it's not like it's just hearsay. You can go to uh, my YouTube channel, Cycle SFXT, find every EVO tournament um, from 2012 in my favorites to 2018, the last one I ran. How unsafe is Jin's Hell Sweep? Not really that unsafe, to be honest. Just don't finish with the second hit. His, uh, his uppercut is completely safe, though, so use that one instead. Oh, there's the anti-air! It's not over yet! It seems like Endgamer has finally found the anti-air move. Uh? Wow, this is dire. I think Endgamer's got this. Oh! Emergency footsies! Didn't get the finish, though. But that sucked! No, that must suck so much to have that move whiff when you finally had it. You were finally about to take a game and it all comes crashing down with the emergency footsies and a failed reversal. And he really wants that god kick. Oh no! Thankfully, that didn't wind up worse for Sakura. Yep, that uh, Rollinger hits twice, so it's a free save tag. Uh, 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 uh. Not free safe tag. It takes a meter to make it safe tag. Anyway. No, oh, no. More mercy footsies. Come with that crouching medium kick. All right. Nina trying to collect some kind of severance pay from her former employer, Jin. Jin, however, is invoking the full forces of uh, employment services, human resources, and his fist in dark holes to try and keep Nina what she's owed. Uh, 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 uh. And that is over! Doki! Uh. Got pretty scary there! I thought Endgame was about to fire back and we're gonna have what we saw last time with uh, Jason and Spicy, but nah. Grubs hangs in there, takes a breath, and moves forward to losers' quarters, 3-0. I think the next up's gonna be... 
look at the play. Starting off with Cami and Lars. I've seen him use his team every so often in these tournaments, but he doesn't really last more than a game pops. Every time he uses his team, I don't really see the success I see with Farming and Jury. But uh, hey, maybe that's why he uses his team so he can get the uh, the pressure situation he needs. Okay. Ah, what a trade. All right, so Cami. There was actually a pretty good Cami at my locals uh, when this game was active. What Cami likes to do on the ground is she's going to be using a lot of stand medium kick. Now, you don't see this move used too much in other Street Fighters, but in this game where there's a boost system, uh, stand medium kick into stand heavy kick into launcher is really nasty because that can actually punish some of those uh, hard to punish things we were talking about earlier, like with Balrog and Vega and Bison. Uh, micro walk, stand medium kick into stand heavy kick is pretty nasty to punish things. Kind of like uh, that Law Junkyard combo. So we'll see. Ah, oh, there you go. What a DP. The big lightning screw. Ah, suplex. Ah, whoa. Look at that. LPN going full Huang there. He likes use that Huang skyrocket, but uh, can Spike not have the same success? Ah, didn't get the full one. If he just ended there, would have killed too. He wanted the link. There's a button. Oh, neutral jump. And you are dead, my friend. LPN takes that first round. Do you have what it takes? Fight. Oh, wow! Okay, look at that. You opened the round with the spin knuckle and it actually worked. Yeah. LPN put on some magic on it there. Uh. So the good thing about uh, that particular move, quick standing, is uh, puts Cod per position to start his free. Yes, you heard that right. Free overheads. It's a uh, forward light kick, back medium kick, and back heavy kick. All of them do pretty ridiculous stuff on counter hits if they hit someone. So yeah, all of his command normals for kicks are overheads. It's nutty. He also has an overhead off the end of his uh, one, two, four, three target combo. Kazuya was the first Tekken character Capcom made, and you can tell because they gave him all sorts of nasty that other characters might not have. Grubs hanging in there with uh, father and son, Kazuya and Jin. The family reunion, it's tenuous, but as long as they win, it will be tolerable. Ooh, uh, good whip punish. Uh -huh. Yeah, then they fall off of that, but I don't think LPM wants that just yet. He just wants to have uh, Scrubs do something that will be to his advantage. In this case, it's that. Oh no, okay. That uh, Mental Alertness 3 came out way too late, and free punish, LPN takes the first game with his new team, Cammy and Lars. By the way, I saw someone hyping up Kazuya. I put up some Kazuya tech for Cross Tekken on my Twitter. You can actually do Electro and God Fist with four different commands. You can do it with medium punch, heavy punch, um, switch, or um, three punches. If you do it with three punches, you'll either get the EX version, still safe on block, or you'll get the electric one got to, also safe on block. So you're good either way. It's just if you screw up and cost you a bar, still be safe. If you do it with the, uh, the switch function, which is the uh, tag MP, MK, you either get the Electric God Fist or get the Hell Swift. Do it raw. But if you try canceling into it, you'll just get tag canceled. That might mess you up. So be careful. Anyway. Ah, okay, just walk right into that. So, if you are Scrubs, what you have to do is you need to be very wary of LPN's meter. The moment LPN has meter, or is close getting meter, that's what's gonna happen. The fact that I was a trade can spike was actually pretty impressive. I don't see many trade can spikes like I do uh, trade DPs. But it makes sense if it would work, right? That is a DP. But I was talking about exactly what happened. All LPN needed was one bar, and just when he got it just barely, that's when it all went to poop. 
Sorry, there we go. The uh, stream was kind of lagging. Anyway. Sorry. Sorry, guys. The uh, stream's kind of back in Oh, right yeah. Uh, watch the second feed when that happens. You see how there's two feeds? One is probably clear, and the other one's lagging. Most Got likely. it. Hold on. Let me move the other one. I'm trying to anyway. Alright, so anyway, so I got you until, um, ooh, nice four purples. Wow, what a punish there, that DP. Very nice. There we go. Okay, yeah, so it's the other one. I got it. Yeah, it looks like, oh, 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 you saw that. Scrubs was foaming at the mouth like an animal. Bite it like a bulldog and bite the dust while you're at it. It's not over yet. Ugh, is this a comeback? It looks so dire for LPN a moment ago, but you saw Scrubs like frothing at the mouth. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can do anything, you blew it. Oh no, you caught him, no! Oh, this is smart, this is smart. Because if they're just stand off like that, and if LPN can keep blocking, Scrubs gonna run out first. Oh no, the over didn't kill, and LPN barely hangs on. It's now two nothing. Yo, I came in just right time for looks. <laughs> that was insane. Yeah, so sorry about the um, sorry about the Discord lag. No, no, it's fine. Um, I shut off the other video so we get distracted when we were playing but, with sound. But yeah, that's why I have two instances going, like in case yeah. one gets choppy. That, that does happen. Yeah, that so, makes sense. Thank yeah. you. But you, that was great, right? You saw Kaz like, yeah, like dashed in, like, here we go, man, here we go! Yeah. Ah, nah, done. I won't Sealed that. your fate. Toro, Toro, Toro! The red cape was pulled away, and what awaited you was a spike to the face. It's all or nothing. Alright, we'll go back for a sec. I think we're playing out of order. Go back for a second. Because you couldn't switch because, um... David, can you go back real quick? Because we're out of order right now. Could have switched unless he actually lost. Anyway, we'll play as is. This would probably be like game four or five, but uh... We're back to a Huang and Jury. And uh, things seem to be uh, pretty... All right, so Scrub's actually doing pretty well right now. Ah, oh, big god kick. Watch your head, Jury. Ah, nice, good stuff, LPN. Yeah, LPN actually had pretty good success doing uh, that medium attack in the launcher. Um, from Comrade last year. LPN, as many of you well know, is not afraid to get uh, completely balls to the wall with the way he maintains his neutral. And if it works out, all the better. It's interesting. Probably got more. Maybe want something different. Probably wanted that. There you go. That makes sense. Probably wanted a buffer. They got the uh, EX uh, Demon Fist instead. All right. Uh 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 uh. Are you dead? Yes, you are. All right, LPN is on hypothetical set point. It looks like um, we played it out of order. Sometimes we send these things to our Turo, they come out in a weird way. So no worries, we'll give you the rest. This will be the lone spoiler alert. Goes overhead. Oh no, didn't get the combo though. And Scrub's already thinking, nah, I got reversal, we're good to go. If I catch him whiffing, he'll uh, get counter hit. Uh, stand. And it aired it aired. Mm, blocking, you're still blocking, you're still blocking. Someone got opened up. Didn't get opened up enough though, but maybe. Ah, nah, it didn't reach far enough to check. Uh, okay, Scrubs is 2 1. This is probably game four. 
So let's go to uh, back to the playlist. I'll tell you which one to play next. I think what happens when I send it to you, they probably went in a weird way. I couldn't see because I had the other one down. All right, hold on just a moment. Let me go here. Perfect. All right. Uh, press select, please. All right, never mind. I guess they're in order. I guess uh, they had some kind of agreement where... Actually, no, I don't think we ever said you had to uh, stay in your character. You just kind of assumed people knew. Anyway, we'll save it for next time. So it's still in order. It's right. Go back up to 23. It's the right one. So I might have played them backwards, where uh, it was supposed to be Huawei Jury first and then Lars. I think that's what it was. It's all right, man. Like uh, yeah, no worries. Usually, what he does, he has that team first and then goes to the main the mainstay. But uh, I know sometimes he's had uh, Lars Cami as the back too, so that makes sense. All right. Okay, let me go back to the other screen real quick. Okay, go ahead. Got it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okie dokie. Oh, good! Uh, unfortunately, it was in a sweet spot where you couldn't quite, uh, confer it as you should have. That is one caveat to that really nice move. I see people talking about Punko in the, uh, chat. Yeah, Punko played Ryu, Kazuya, and Kazuya Nina. Um, and I'll give you a story. This was the Evo I was playing Arturna's Room. That, uh, Friday, when the doors opened, I beat him 14-4. It felt great. And I say that because I was about to play a tournament for the side turf across tech, and I need some kind of pick-me-up. And playing Pumpo and having a defense against that was really nice. That actually accomplished what I need. Uh, Pumpo, I saw he's been playing recently, too. Maybe he'll come back, you know? Might see him again. He might get the salty run back next time we were all, um, hang off each other when the plague's lifted. So I hope so. Speaking of Kazuya, Scrub takes that game. Quarong. Quarong in Cross Tekken is top. He is the best character. I've heard some people debate that he might be second best, and I've heard some people say Jin is the best. I don't agree with that, though. I think Jin is, like, maybe fourth best. But at that point, when you have all these strengths and weaknesses, it's, uh, kind of, you know, nitpicking. Either way, Quarong is top tier. You better respect him. So is Kazi and so is Jin. Jury is the only one kind of uh, feeling the struggle right now. So this is like top tier privilege at its best, and then there's Jury. Jury is like the, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. If all these guys are like John Cena and Undertaker and Triple H and all the other main eventers, uh, Jury here is Zack Ryder. Oh no. You can tell uh, LPN wanted to chip out, but Kazuya got just in time. Jin, however, is not in much better shape. Uh, uh. Alright. So either way, it was just lady inevitable. LPN takes that round. Uh, coming in, diving those DMs. Hey, Jin, why don't you text me back, says Warong. Wins our rematch. Hey, thanks for the follow, stranger. Appreciate it. Uh, good DP. Right in the face. And the pressure's still going. That's safe. Good job blocking. Waiting for Kaz to come in. It might be safe on block, but it is not a safe on tag block. Ah, Gordy, the purple stuck finished? Oh, no! Yeah, I was practicing that last night, actually. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. The uh, ender, not so much the electric. But actually, once you get used, it's not too bad. It's just ending it, it's uh, pretty tight. You might have to just to end up like a sweep or something. Anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! Yeah, that's from the front! That big stomp! And you're gonna see a lot of people get hit by that stomp, I, I imagine, if uh, LPN does manage to get farther than this. Because LPN... He's gotten so much better with Jury in the last few months doing these Discord things. 
Um, before it was like all Huarong, and then Jury just kind of took people while they were all frazzled. But I've been seeing a lot better Jury from LPN when Jury is trying to play neutral. And I'm really proud of LPN for that. Oh no, that was your chance! We were talking about it earlier! Easy to drop, but no worries, Scrubs narrowly hangs on. It is now tied at two. Look, I'm pretty sure the one up is the last one. At this point, it's the last one. Perfect. All right, tied at two. Loser moves on to semis. Well, winner moves on to semis of losers. And loser just moves on and tries to uh, erase the indignity of losing this tightly contested battle. All right. Ah, there we go. That's the LP I know and love. Hit him with that big uh, forward heavy punch overhead. Forward heavy kick, one or the other. Either way. So the thing about Huarong is uh, just like Balrog's all punches, Huarong is all kicks this game. Yes, I know in Tekken he has some punchy moves, but uh, in this game he's all kicks. And being I don't play Huarong much as uh, as a player, I'm always like facing Huarong whenever I'm playing. Um, I haven't really experienced much to know the difference just yet. At least for stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it's forward heavy kick though. Uh, uh, oh, rest your raw launch, and did you just miss your chance to finish the job? You don't want to give Scrubs any kind of momentum. You got Kazuya, the master of momentum. Glitch check from LPN. Yeah, that uh, crouching meat, that crouching light punch. Yes, that's a light punch. That much I do know. Um, is really nice. Reaches very far. He's confirmed. Oh, you got hit from the front again. He's getting a lot of mileage using that move to catch people off guard when they're trying to block. I noticed uh, jumping heavy punch of King has the same effect on people. Oh no! No! It's already over with the overhead and the cross up at the exact same time? The goofy stuff? Alright, LPM moves forward 3 to 2 to loser semis. Scrubs! Good stuff, my first time seeing you play. I'm definitely gonna be interrogating people to get some of your casual play for the next weekly wire. So, for those who don't know, what I've been doing the last four weeks is I have been uploading um, weekly cross Tekken's. Like it was looking dire, and then closed the gap at the buzzer. Hung in there, took the win. I'll take on any challenge that you go. It's all on the line. All right, let's see if Jiz can bring that uh, Jimmy Valvano magic again. Carnage got top three last time, and. I've known Carnage for a long time. Not quite personally like uh, Kupo had. I know Kupo and him from uh, the same area. But Carnage was around the old Facebook groups for a long time. And I know he's capable. I mean, he has to be. He's been playing this game for so long. And he was always in, in discussions talking, uh, like he was talking about. Like, even back then, I studied the game pretty heavily. And what he said often made sense. So let's see if he can make sense of Jason and that uh, clutch instinct he has. I mean, I can't stress enough. When Jason has more time with this game, he is going to be just devastating. It's a boxer battle. We have brute strength versus the sweet science. And the uh, not so sweet science of electro. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. The big uh, Hell Sweet whip was just what Bowser needed to bring in Abel. Unfortunately, now it's Abel's turn to take a ride with the Sweet Science, ready to rumble in the jungle. All these bean lions. Come on. Oh, no. I like the idea. He probably wanted to uh, catch him with throw, but Steve Ricard fast enough to jab him out of it. Hype right now. You can tell Jason is trying not to give away anything. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Sadly, not quite at the right spot to get that ground bounce from the wheel kick. Uh, he's going ham. He has to. Oh, that might have done it! No! I think has a little more health. He can catch him. Catch him! That jab. Oh, no, he got him! I think Jason got it. Yes! Oh, right, Jason! 
Answer about all you like, Stevie boy. Brute strength will eventually catch you. And now, Sparrowbox Fist have your blood on. Oh, happy birthday! A very unhappy birthday to you, my friend. Tight. Don't touch me. <laughs> I like how Steve said that. Don't touch me. Oh, just... oh, walking forward? You know better to do that on a grappler. Fortunately, that Steve Perry to Kazuya has just uh, brought the pain. Here comes Kazuya. Ah, EX tackle. And here comes Balrog. What are you thinking? He just whips a, uh... What's a turn punch? Recovers fast enough? Now, if I'm Balrog, and I gotta play this matchup, I'm gonna be throwing out crouching like crouching medium kick. Because that will completely stop whatever wave dash nonsense Kazuya is thinking about. Even Electric Wing Godfist. The only thing that Electric will lose to in this game are low attacks. And Balrog has some halfway decent low attacks. Sweep works too, but... If he could just uh, boost a uh, crouch medium kick into Able, oh man, cause it'd be a bad day. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. So Jason says it's good to know next time. Um, that's why I'm saying it, man. I've been playing Balrog for three years and just to kind of know what he's about, because everyone says how bad he is, I just wanted to say something. All right, so what up does he have? And second time over a row. Anyway, I like time overs. As a Sam Show 5 player, I enjoy my time overs. Same thing with uh, NGBC and uh, Tekken DR, we'd have time overs a lot too. Uh, 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 oh no, tag! Oh, okay, I think he won a tag cancel there. He wasn't expecting to uh, have that happen. Alright, don't let him out. Oh no, wrong way! And he gets the link too! Stevie in bad trouble! Oh no, you're flinching. You just held on a little bit longer. Raw launch. Oh, you got. Oh! You missed the full punish. Yeah, if you just boosted uh, Abel, you wasn't a lot more often. Wouldn't have had that happen. Alrighty. By the way, if I sign up being facetious because Jason the chat and I am trying to give him some actual advice, you better for next time. Uh, uh, uh! I do envy you, though, that you hit that thing so consistently, Jason. I've been trying to do it lately. I think I forgot the timing for it. So I've just been doing a uh, stand medium kick into a delayed dash upper, and then I do the dash straight at the end. Does less damage, a little bit worse Oki, but I'm hitting more consistently than that one. So back here consistently, I'm actually really impressed by it, being that I wrote that one down for you guys. So thank you. Yo, BBH, good to see you. BBH, Bison Julia. Maybe one day we'll see him in the Discord tournament. For now, we appreciate his company and feedback all the same. Carnage narrowly squeaks by that first game. Jason is giving him all he can handle right now. I don't play able enough to really give them uh, that kind of feedback, but I can give them that for Balrog. Yeah, my uh, able team is uh, Brian able, but I'm still trying to do more of that team. I haven't really got the hang of neutral just yet. All right, Carnage is right now up one nothing, but it's looking pretty tense right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Take on any challenge that you got. Are you ready? Okie doke. Let's see how uh, Jason adjusts for this one. He used a uh, sweep try and catch him there. Not the worst idea. It's probably that far though. Oh no! Okay. So the one time I said, why don't he try and enter with a uh, cutting heavy punch? He finally did, but it was a little bit too early. He got jumped in on for free. That's unfortunate. That's gonna be really good anti air too. I would use crouch heavy punch over um headbutt, in my personal opinion. Uh 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 
<laughs> yes, he was like, well, you hit me, and then I was like, okay, Whoop! brings it, Abel. Yeah, don't be parrying too much, my friend. A hey, hockey player, I know how addicting the parries can be, but you gotta control it. You gotta bounce it out of it. Uh, 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 I missed it. Good news, it recovers pretty quick, so even if you're doing it on whiff, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Especially, uh, the opponent doesn't know the trick of how to beat it. Shoutouts to, uh, Kelvin John for telling me about that stuff. I remember he was the first Kazi I played that really abused the Doryas, him and Chaos Limit. And they taught me early in my second career, this is how you beat it, otherwise you're gonna get, uh, screwed up. And anytime I forgot about it, I would predictably get screwed up. So yeah, aim for the feet. Like uh, our Lord and Savior Jagger King once said, duck those electrics on reaction or at least anticipation. Typically, it's gonna be so much range, how's gonna have you actually hit you with that thing? So, in a way, you can uh, duck that electric dot fist, quote unquote, on reaction. Uh, big jump in, ah, oh, you missed it. Still got something, but not quite enough of a problem would expect for that kind of punishment. Uh, oh no, you missed. Alright, no worries. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do. Um, the bread and butter he's been doing, um, I'm trying to do it again. I haven't lost my time for some whatever reason. Uh, it's close heavy punch, I believe, uh, light or medium dash upper. And oh, alright, let me stop talking. Because we got the Yamazaki stuff now. Flicker into uh, EX Flicks. Uh, uh, uh. It's here. He's gonna laugh off that. I'll have to use that more when I'm playing Able next time. What's up, Jason? Alright, so Karn is getting a lot of these uh, flicker attacks right now. Hit him low and then hit him in the face. One electric win Godfist later, and Karn is now up to nothing. See, Hachi bad in this game. So, once more, I have a chance to. A hey, Hong Chi won Evo 2017 and the Summer Jam 2018 tournament. And I should know, because I was playing him. Hey, Hong Chi is good for everything except playing neutral. His walk speed makes Makoto's third strike walk speed look like Orochi Yorgan CVS. I mean, it's really bad. His dash is decent, take on any but all his other stuff, his toolkit, his anti-airs, his combos, his overheads, and his low attacks, they're great. That's why I have Vice as a point character, so he can do all that heavy lifting in neutral that Heihachi doesn't have. And Heihachi just uh, goes full present G-ham on him. Ooh, good touch. Okay, so Jay's in the chat said he didn't know the trick to beat Electric Office for losing low attacks. So, for now, we're going to see how Jason is able to overcome this without knowing that. He's going to have to probably just play pure neutral, um, bind when Carnage is whipping, and then either punish or advance as needed to try and pressure make a mistake. Able, being he is a grappler, that's what grapplers tend to do, he has the team to do it. And Balrog, obviously, he has great buttons. He has, um, great buttons. <laughs> I mean, what else does he have? Not really much, unfortunately. His combos are pretty limited. Um, he does have an overhead, but it's pretty reactable, and it's also unsafe. We have have all these characters with safe, combable overheads, and your call overhead is not safe. It's actually pretty sad. Um, so forth for Balrog, because, again, he had so much potential to force him to time it wrapped up, but his numbers just weren't alarming the way they should have been. The uh, nerfs he got, but uh, what he does have still works, as it does there. What a clutch finish! I love that combo. Thank you, Jason, for showing it off again and finishing the round with it. Yes. What will happen next? Uh, Balrog is still considered bottom five in this game, but he can still do stuff. In this game, everyone is viable if you know what you're doing. That's why I gave Jason that feedback. This matchup is 
not impossible for Valkyrie. Actually, I would say, I wouldn't say it's even. I haven't done the math on that yet. But I would say, it, if Kazuya, you see now, okay. I think he defends very well against Kazuya when you know what you're doing. Asia right now is just playing neutral, and it's getting the job done. Or what he has knowledge of at this time. The moment that, uh, Balrog starts clipping Kazuya's toes and tries dashing in with electrics, that is when you're gonna see Kazuya's problems against Balrog. For now, though, it's, uh, just playing neutral, and that's how Jace is gonna win this. Just, uh, keep it simple. Play the meta, and you're gonna be good to go. Way too easy. Look at that. Carnage is just getting blown up right now. Way too easy. Just go. Good alpha counter, he has to. He needs to to save the day and save this, or uh, Jason's gonna be cutting that lead to 2-1. Coming in with those yellow wheel kicks. EX! EX tackle nobody home! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, safe jumping it. If he empty jumped low, that'd be a dead cause for sure, but no difference. <laughs> Time over. Jason has cut the lead to 2-1. So yeah, even if you don't know all the exploits, if you got neutral, you can get by. I said that about Endgamer as well. I can tell just playing Endgamer on his first day, he had a lot of potential to get better very quick. Even his combos weren't there, his neutral definitely was. The rules of Street Fighter still very much apply. Watch your spacing and don't jump too much or you're going to get anti-aired. In this game where anti-airs can be tag cancelled with simply a bar, yeah, Abel's definitely uh, the money maker right now for uh, Jason. But that's okay, Balrog's definitely holding his own right now. And with just a little feedback I'm giving him, he'll be even better. Uh, oh yeah, it's 2-0 right now, correct? No, it's 2-1. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He was storing a charge. So for those who don't know, Balrog, uh, far heavy punch, but hits a standing opponent counter hit, it causes a slow crumple like a hip focus attack. And that starts Balrog's pinball combos. The most fun thing about him if you're doing uh, combo videos. Alright. Balrog versus Jack. Yeah, this one... This one, you gotta play, you gotta slowly mark... Like, many Jack matchups, actually. You have to slowly march in, wait for him to either make a bad call on geysers when you jump in with a heavy kick, or you wait for him to uh, um, have a blocked rock uppercut. Now keep in mind, only the medium rock uppercut with Jack is punishable, because I think the light one is minus one. The light one has no invisibility, or very limited invisibility, but it's safe. The medium one is like a DP, and it's not safe. And the heavy one hits twice, and you can tag cancel it because of that second hit. A lot of Jack's comments are going to end with the heavy version of the Ruck Uppercut. Additionally, his shoulder tackle has a point of armor, so if you're a zoner, don't throw fireballs too much, because even without the geysers, that tackle is still got to respect. Um, his... Super is probably the best of the game. In terms of sheer utility, it's almost perfect anti-air. There's this big giant fist that has for everything. And obviously has great damage and big This is a matchup you have to play a lot to really know what's in it. Um, in my opinion, Jack is upper mid. Just all the stuff he has Safety, zoning, big button, great anti air. Um, neutral isn't too bad. He has a lot of ways he can tag his partner. Um, I think he is upper mid. And you have to play him a lot to really get used to all of his tricks. For now, though, Jason not seem intimidated. He just kind of bullied Jack there. As I'm singing his praises. Final round. Um, this is Psycho Blue speaking. Good to meet you, my friend. All right. Oh, no, you were thinking wheel kick. Sadly, King was thinking drop kick to the face. Take overhead. That's safe. Good. Still blocking. You're still blocking. That's good. 
All right, so good this is Jason knows that all this stuff is not so he can punish. He, so he's wisely waiting his turn. What do you have to do, unfortunately? Wait your turn, take it, and if you got the meteor, maybe alpha counter so often, so just keep doing it. Yeah, either way, Jason, you should still be blocking it. Yeah, he's saying he doesn't remember the exact frame of it, he just knows that's safe, which is fine. Is this the end? Oh, clutch! Upper! Now, I think you can combo off of his uh, stand, light kick is three frame, I think. Or at least the far version. I know I was doing math on it, and the hitboxes were like really wacky. Alright, Jason has been in worse situations before. He managed to pull something out, but so. Oh, there we go! Alright, it's Wolfpack time! NC State, boys! Time is running. Oh no! EX tackle, fully armored! Barreling through, I believe, the turn punch. Carnage, steel, steel, 3 1. Jason, you have a lot of potential. The fact that this was your first tournament and you got this far has been a fantastic run for him. I can see why he was excited um, when he played these things. I guess I found the right suspect. I'm ready. Fight! Take on it. All right. We have um, what looks to be Green Bay Packers Law and Cotton Candy Law. We have the Vibes of Summer and the Behemoth of the Winter facing off. Sad, this is looking like uh, the questionable Packers era where they have like drama and their coach is still Mike McCarthy. Wow, Cotton Candy Punk is completely exerting his will on Striker. First round goes to Pink Punk. Sounds like a subgenre of rock to be exact. Like Pink Pop, stage from Tekken DR. Ugh. Oh, look at this. We're just trading crouching medium kicks in the Shaolin. For those who don't know, um, the Shaolin kick is safe on block, but if you cancel it, the uh, gap between the move you did and the Shaolin kicks, you can interrupt the reversals. So don't go too ham with that. A lot of the laws do that, but if you call them up with a reversal, you can stop that mess. Or just alpha counter one or the other. Either way works. Stop the momentum. No Punk. Oh yeah! Punk actually cut his nails in Cross Tekken. He was Ambu Punk back in the day. And he was part of uh, those clan warfare things on PSN and 360, so he's on a long time. Uh-oh. Uh Didn't get the combo he wanted, so I'm sure, uh, whenever Punk was streaming this, he was definitely saying some interesting things. For now, though, the only interesting thing is this W is going to be taking. I really wanted to see more of Lei, though. I wanted to say all these cool things about Lei, because, uh, Ice came back and he's been playing Lei a lot, and he was one of the main Lei players back this game was super active, but unfortunately, it seems like Pong takes up first game before Lei can really do anything cool. Let us see how Striker responds. If I recall correctly, there was a pitcher who had like wild pink hair. I remember seeing the Sports Illustrated for kids. He was some minor league guy, so he probably didn't really do anything. Alright, 16 and then 7. You weren't Ambu Punk? I thought you were! You told me you were at Summer Jam! I'm ready. Fight. See, look, he's Here's lying to me now. Punk is just making stuff up to drive me nuts. Fight. But it's, it's no worries. I'm cool. Punk will have to clarify who he actually was. I asked him that, and I think he said yes. Or I thought he was CM Punk 1337, which is actually more like what he would be. Probably because uh, 1337 was just such a era of its time, especially at the age that he was at. Anyway. He was either Ambu Punk or 1337. Either way, you have to tell the other Ambu guys that it's not you because they're acting like it is. Yeah. 
Anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! Wake up and a big moonsault press. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like Punk knew it wasn't going to be the big cross up splash. Alright, so Punk clarifies he was Ambu. See, I'm not making this stuff up. Alright, let's keep going. Man, look at uh, Punk just throwing out these buttons. Just doing it. Unfortunately, Striker is giving reason to stop. There you go, Striker. Bring it in Jin. Good! Okay! That's what we gotta do! Use that move against Law, and I've been telling everybody this. Against Law, jumping is banned. Jumping is banned against Law. Do not jump on him unless there is absolutely no way he can do that move to you. That move is pretty fast too, sir. I'm in situations where he can't do it to you. Against Law, jumping is banned. Beat him on the ground, and once you have a big enough life lead, then maybe, just maybe, you can see if they anti you or not. But when you face Law, you have to start by beating him on the ground. The fact that Striker got it in that situation, I'm happy for that. Seems like Punk held on long enough, though, to make it 2 0. Blue team wins! All I know is that there are too many punks out there. That is what I'm gathering from Punk saying yes he was Ambu Punk, but not in Cross Tekken. I had this big narrative set up and now we're just saying nah, that's not it. He could just be screw with me though, so whatever. Either way. I'm ready. Fight! PG Punk, PG Punk, or PG Pink as he likes to be called now, PG Pink, is about to move to Grand Finals if he can take this next game. Oh, there's a Junkyard combo. Just doing it. I talked about that move a lot too earlier in this stream. Yeah, you gotta hold down, fortunately. All right, I like this. Yeah, the life lead is in Punk's favor, but this is exactly what Striker needs to do. You can't be rushing against Punk, because he will just check you all day. Like a lot of what I saw of Punk earlier, he was just checking people hard to punish them. Striker just kind of got careless there. There are some you can use to break the stalemate. That's not one of them, especially not that range. I know it's some ranges that, uh, that move can be safe on block, but that's not the one. Punk is right now on set point. Open your soul to the battle. Will the fire battle burn? Fight. Too late, why you? Punk's all right. That one, yeah. That one, I can believe you hit confirm. <laughs> Yeah, Punk saying, um, I'm just making up lies about him, but, nah. I call it like it is. With what I am given. Alright, that's good. Let's go strike, uh, alright, I was worried Striker might have, uh, done it too low when the back would have missed. Ugh, good bait, though. Yeah, the, uh, the, the execution, even after you charge up, it really isn't that fast. So, that's not really the point you want. Big slap to the face. Yeah, you got that, unfortunately. With Hugo, there's some guy to just destroy it. Actually, no. Hugo might have been able to lariat at some point, or the super version. It might have caught somebody. So, I'll keep quiet on that. Because I didn't realize that Striker had all this bar to play with. Oh, yeah. Well, I know that. Yes. Punk. I think big stuff up. Yeah. Punk, I'm not disagreeing that target combo is super easy to confirm. 
Because I've been hyping up that target combo all day. Like, all day. Are you letting him live here? But that's okay. All right, Striker. Got it. It's looking pretty dire. Time is running out. And all she has to do is throw some dark holes, and he's clinched this. Or he'll just, uh, skedaddle, skedoodle, and, ah, uh, yeah, out of time. All right. Punk moves to grand finals 3 nothing. Damn. That was a good yeah. sweet punk. Well, I see Punk's in here uh, hyping up his loyal fan base, as he should. Mm -hmm. I might be saying things in regards to Punk, but Punk's actually pretty cool. I don't know why all you guys get so mad at him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he talks junk. Big deal. I used to work at, like, an all-dead school. I'd rather have what he does compared to the stuff they would do. I've been stabbed in the face, I've been shoved through a door, I had to deal with a colossomy bag being thrown around. I'd much rather have punk any of them. <laughs> uh, so, oh yeah, 16? Um, so I do believe, go to 14. This should be, scroll up. Scroll up to, uh... Scroll up to 10 if you're so kind. And don't press anything though. Alright, don't... Let me see real quick. I'm doing the math real quick. I'm doing the math. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't want to give away anything. I want that one. So you're going to want to start at 13. And then you're going to want to do 13 through 11 through now. And then from there, we'll know what the ender is. Yeah. I think they got sent out of order. But I'm pretty sure uh, 13 through 11 is the order you want. All right, bet. And this is loser semis? This is loser semis, yes. Okay, cool. Because Carnage won the other one, and LPM won the other one, so they would be me for you do to make this event what it is. Thank you. LPN on the left, and Carnage on the right. I think this was Loser's Finals last time. Now it is Loser's Semi. NorCal versus NorCal, LPN versus Carnage. Let's see what happens. Uh, 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 uh. There you go, you got all of it. I was trying to do that last night, actually. As I was determined, I was uh, trying to practice those things. I'm getting better at it, though. Nice. So, normally you end that with a cannon spike, but LPN doesn't want that just. He wants the advantage, because the landing off the cannon drill, perfect spot to keep doing that stuff. And that is uh, not quite close enough to really uh, get the follow up. Emergency footsies. Here comes Kazia. Yo, Koi, how you doing? I haven't heard your name in a long time. All right. Ah, nice. Okay, so Alpha Counter didn't quite go the way Carnage wanted. A typical option to select in this game, if you got bar, is they're jumping out to you because empty jump lows are really strong in this game. Um, can either... Do raw lock, do uh, alpha counter, which is forward and too heavy. If they press the button on the jump in, you get alpha counter. And if they try to energy jump low, you get raw launcher, and then they're pretty much screwed. So I knew what Cards was doing here. He just landed at the worst possible spot. Some alpha counters are definitely better than others. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, 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 uh. We got the hype Stevie combos. Stevie Fox. Oh no! Coming down with the leg. That big rider kick. Yeah, that move, uh, that jabber kick looking move starts combos. And uh, just go. Oh, whoa! Okay! Okay, we got short hops into EX Cannon Drill. Or Cannon Strike, it's called. It looks like a drill the EX version. It's called the Cannon Strike. Cannon Drill is the, uh, the Spiral Arrow. There's no turning back! Fight! 
Uh, Seth is not in this. Uh, 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 uh. Here comes Steve. Brit versus Brit. You know, these two actually have pretty similar stories, too, apart from just being, like, from the UK. Because they're both, like, blonde amnesiacs. So they got that going for them, too. Maybe they're dating, you know? We have so much in common. Ooh. I think, uh... I don't know if Carnage could have actually punished that pretty tight of a punish, just from the way it stopped. For now, though, uh... Carnage is still making things happen. He got a big opening in all that wall carry. Gonna sit on a nice, juicy life lead. Lars, oh, didn't get all the DP though. Oh no, okay. Look at Cammy. Cammy is right now at Discovery Zone on the trampoline, just jumping up and down, waiting for Kazia to do something to try and stop her. But she's like, no, Daddy, I want to keep jumping. LPN, I think that's 1 0. Yo, C4 IQ is actually pretty cool, Jericho. I remember when I did a podcast with him years ago, and I think he or the other guy I worked with, Ian, told me the N Psycho Blues nature on the back of the box. That meant a lot to me. So I'm pretty cool with uh, C4. So I'm, it's cool to see his name. I haven't heard his name in a long time. I haven't seen him post in a long time either. Yeah, I know, right? But I appreciate you shouting it out. It's actually a pretty good memory I have. Thank you. Yo! C4, it's been a, such a long time! Yo! Alright, this is a reunion now. It's good to see you, man. I told you I'd bring this game back. Didn't I tell you I'd bring this game back? Alright, let me focus on this. It's not about me, it's about you guys. Wonderful set we're having between LPN and Carnage. Oh, alright, so right now LPN's going ham. We talked about earlier, LPN loves these scrambles, but you have to put the brakes at some point, my friend. Uh, this is tense. Both these guys are just DPs ready to rip. You're about to see full Unga in a moment. You got all these DP characters on the screen. And Cammy, oh, you tried to instant overhead, okay. Didn't get anything off of it. Maybe one attack cancel off of it. I don't know what it would have done though. That had like no hits. You remember this guy played with all characters? I mean, come on, Esta? Esta said he uh, doesn't play this game anymore, unfortunately. He's moved on to full esports hype, which is fine. Oh no, don't be talking about him. Come on, guys. <laughs> I just talked about drama-free cross Tekken, and then he had to bring that up. Uh, uh. Oh no, okay, I know what he wanted. He was thinking he was gonna let it rip. He was gonna armor through it with that move. But instead, of LPN just kinda held firm. Uh, and now LPN will be carried off on a stretcher. Linked firmly into the ground by that Jaguar bomb. It's now tied at one. Liquid. Yeah, Liquid's pretty cool. Yeah, Liquid still plays too, but he's on like vampire hours. I've only ever played Liquid like 4.30. I had to wake up early for some autism walk I had to do. I had to be there at 6. So I woke up early. Uh, does Bruce still play? Uh, Bruce I was actually playing earlier last week actually, so I think he just got back into it though. But yeah, Bruce just got back into it. So I guess, yes, he does still play. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Striker was talking about. He's on at like 1 a.m. or whatever. I don't know what time zone he's in, but no time zone works out. I was like, why is this guy on so late? I can't focus. Uh, hold on. Go back, go back. Stop. No, no, that's not the right one. You went backwards. We're going in. Okay. 
Alright, we'll make sure this is not a repeat. I'm, it might be. Yeah, this is a repeat, unfortunately. We just saw this earlier. Losers finals, everybody. It is now time for LPN and Phantom Striker to duke it out and see who faces Chief Pink Punk for that grand finals. Oh, that stand jab is can be so devastating. Not uh, as good as it once was, but it's still really gosh darn good. When I say it's not as good as it once was, it's a very, very minor nerf. At least the scheme of things. In reality, it was a major nerf. More so that it was just that good. More so that it just got hit that hard. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, look at Striker with these optimized combos. Already putting LPN on his back. What will happen next? Ooh, that is not safe against Law. Free Junkyard Punish, ladies and gentlemen. We were talking about earlier. When you are playing against Law, all the stuff that you could have used against other people, you can't do anymore. Because it is Law. And why not? You cannot stop the Law, for he is the Law. Fortunately, now he is on his back. As I'm saying all these great things about him, in came Lars and just silenced him with all the big, fat, meaty links. It's all or nothing now. Fight. All right, so I want to see Striker anti-air that. If he can anti-air Cami consistently and just stop all that nonsense. Oh! Well, as I'm saying, what I would like to see, it's not what's really happening. Good block. Unfortunately, that is safe. And he's got whip punch a big way. Thankfully, uh, was not converted to the really nasty stuff. I'm pretty sure we've gotten a uh, dynamic entry kick into a juggle state, and that might have actually killed Law there. No worries. Happy birthday. And uh, powerbomb your partner way out. Good anti-air. Big shining wizard. Traveling all across the distance. Perfectly space crashing medium kick. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, uh, Max! Chris T said he couldn't make it. Probably do it uh, next time. Right now, Chris T said he's taking a break. Ugh! Chip oh, good rollout. Sadly, not quite far enough. The end chased after him and got the very end of that dynamic entry kick. And that is 1-0 LPN. Oh, by the way, we're talking about Turbo and all the other Europeans. Whatever happened to Stu Duncan? Because I remember when I won EVO, he was one of the first guys to come and talk trash about me. And I didn't appreciate that, because I was pretty proud of that happening. Uh, it's be what? number nine. Nine? nine. Yeah, I'm just kind of group people chat right now. And he was hyping up, I remember. Stand by. Okay. What? Dude, Dub, why are you being so mean to me? What the heck? I'm ready. I'll talk Fight. trash about you then. Dub, you're a meanie. Give me a break. Are you ready? I had the biggest mode of my life. You came to rain on my parade. Talk about a guy I haven't played in years. Anyway, let's go back to this. Da, da, da. Big overhead. He got the leg. Watch your head, my friend. Oh, big pun. Oh, no! I was hyped for that. I thought that'd be a dead large at that point. Or close to it. He might have built up meter to get the ender. Might not have. No, he was being dead serious. He was being mean to me in my YouTube comments. Duh, duh. Oh, good, man. That's the second time he's blocked that. Good stuff, man. 
It's pretty fair though, um... He has played Saul's match lot, and Saul's large is really nice. So he's probably used to it by now. Big Raw Launcher! Please kill. Please kill. Yes, it does! Burr! He says he's trolling, but nah, he was serious. He just wanted to uh, let his jealousy control him. Anyway. Uh, uh, EX Fury Fist, such a powerful reversal. What? Why is Kami almost at Pandora Health? She only got hit like twice, what the heck? All right. Well, Dub, you come talk to my YouTube comments with a little bit more uh, poise, and I'll uh, take it a little less personally, you know? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> come on, that was so Phantom's round! Cammy is not trash, you know this. Come on. She is not as dumb as she used to be. We can make friends. That's all I wanted to hear, Dub. I forgive you. That was also three years ago, so I've long since forgot about it until you brought it up again. What you guys kept talking about, I just remembered that happening. I was like, what the heck? Her jab's nice. Her DP's nice. She has some good range. She can actually get in that uh, micro walk punish range for a lot of those boosts other people can't really deal with. All right, so next up's going to be number six. That's fine, Dub. It's water on the bridge at this point. I just remember that one moment because I was on a pretty wild mood at the time. Well, so can she. Anyway. Huh? Huh? So I wasn't talking about her jump normals or why she's good at all. However, can't even really have meter to, uh, oh, that striker gave him that. Striker, you gave him that. Come on. Uh, 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 ah, simple stuff. So what Lars can do, oh, <laughs> double roll launcher. Unfortunately, Law had no health to really, uh, survive that. Anyway, Cammy being good, I wasn't talking about her jump normals at all. The low jump's definitely something to worry about, but no, nah, it's more the fact she had that stand medium kick and the uh, the walk jab stuff, and obviously a really nice DP and good damage. Uh, right now, these people are playing for, at the last check, I think, over $150. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that damage. It's not dead, but it's pretty dire. Watch your head for the EX flip kick. I knew it! I knew it! Everyone gets hit by that! <laughs> nice, good DP. You can tell how much I faced Law over the last few years. The fact that something happened almost like five seconds before I... <laughs> five seconds after I said it. You can tell how often I've had this matchup in my head. I knew it was coming. Raw Launcher! Make it hurt. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Uh. <laughs> I knew it! Five seconds after I said here's what's coming, not only did it happen, but it worked. Oh. No, not the right one. I don't know what he was thinking there, but he could have gotten the um, junkyard combo off of that. Oh no, you pressing buttons? Well, I can just go ham with Brussels too, you know. Oh, nice! Wait a bit, confirmed that was a counter hit. Well, I don't know what he wanted there, probably uh, messed up his input. He might have wanted the arm drag and just got the other way. Yeah, that's safe. Before you got opened up, watch your feet. P 
people think Peru and that they're not the same. <laughs> they're way too far from each other. Fair though, I know all bears can be kind of questionable about their geographical knowledge, and I should know. But once we get to like the Far East uh, Eurovision type countries, I get pretty mixed up. Ah, oh, Shining Wizard! That. We're gonna we can press buttons too. I can throw out kicks too. And now I'm up 2-1. Striker is now up 2-1 on LPN. One more game and he gets to rematch Punk. Woo! You saw that, right? You saw Cammy with that stand medium kick. No, you can't get in. I just gotta confirm one more time and then I'll just bring in. Bring in Lars to finish it, and then uh, King said, nah, I can press standing kicks too. Big stand heavy kick, and that sealed the deal. Let me double check, make sure the next one is my uh, tech thing fell out. That was number six, so you're going to be going to number eight now. Which punk? Obviously not Ambu Punk, or at least not cross tech at Ambu Punk. I'm ready. Fight! I won't hold back. Yeah, apparently Ambu Punk and Cross Tekken Punk are different people. By his own admits, he didn't play uh, Cross Tekken under the Ambu Punk name. Which is weird to me, though, because others did. We had Ambu Manos, Ambu Roka. Uh-oh, that sneaky, crouching, medium kick. Ah, oh, the big overhead! Nice, good stuff. <laughs> Fooled you! Corpse hopping with the knee and then a big shoulder attack on the corner. No wall bounce necessary. No, Max, I was saying your Chun-Li wasn't too bad when we were playing each other um, a year or so ago. Because I was beating your law and then you twisted Chun, you almost ran it back on me. I was pretty surprised by that. Nice, a big thorn. That is one thing Jury is has really good for her. That uh, crouch heavy punch can be jump canceled, and she gets some pretty nasty anti-air combos because of it. Uh, we are playing on PC right now, Poi. There's no turning back. Oh, nice. And because it caught that particular angle, oh no, cross up overhead at the same time. So, the way to beat it is to walk forward and then it'll whiff and then you get a free punish. Sometimes I've done an accident, but uh, I've also seen some characters press a button that moves them forward in a way that has them avoid it. Like, they might think, okay, he's going to dash forward and try to uh, mix me up, so I'll button check him, and then the button you check them with actually moves you forward. So if he does do that cross-up overhead, it might whiff, and then you get a free punish. Um, someone was lapping that with Xiao Yu earlier last week, so that might be a more extensive tech video that we might see in the near future. For now, though, LPN is tied in too. Just get out of here. Red team wins. Yeah, we've seen that cross up overhead so much, I thought I would bring that up and uh, let you guys know that there is some caveat to that. One that might benefit from a specific tech video if one does not exist already, and it might. Might have uh, come under our noses. It's going to be number seven. I won't hold back. 
I'm ready. Fight! Are you ready? Fight! Okay, tied at two. Who will be going on to face Punk? Well, a dub. I don't drink or smoke or do drugs. My addiction is this game. Blow uh, up. Uh, mm -hmm. What's up? I said blow up. Like your addiction, your addiction is Street Fighter. Cross seconds. What an addiction. Yeah. That's your vice. That is my vice. I mean, there's worse things to have. We all need something to kind of take our mind off the tedium of life, you know. Uh -huh. For now, though, it seems like what's taking Striker's mind off of life is death itself. Man, he just got dumped on that round, and now LPN is on set points. Here. Oh, <laughs> we're punished. Yeah, Striker tried that on me a few months ago in the uh, PSN turn. I actually got something off of it. But the uh, thing is, LPN's done that so much to other people. He was waiting wow. for um, Striker to flinch, and that was all she wrote. Peed on and sent packing. But, but I liked what I saw. All Striker needed to do is clean up some stuff like a little more calm and neutral with both his characters. Not just Law, but with both his... Uh, 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 uh-huh. All right. Let's go back to this and watch. So he hit that part. He just missed that end. The good news is the uppercut is safe. So even if he missed the link, it's not really in too big of a problem. Yeah, Max, you missed what I said. I said zoning is a real option, but a lot of people claim it's dishonorable, so they won't do it. They complain about time overs and stuff. That's what I mean. Street Fighter Five is a different story. That we'll talk about uh, in our free time, not during Cross Tekken, where wonderful game is center stage here on our Turo's channel. How do gems work? So, uh, Dakota, right now everyone here has attack gems. Um, you have to activate really specific prerequisites to activate the gems, and then they're active for a certain period of time. Uh, the best gem sets really depend on not only the character you're using, but where on your team they are. For, for these guys, they just want to have all attack all the time. If they're, everyone's fast enough and does enough hits and they switch in and out in a really good way, where they can all activate attack gems very easily and get the most off of them. But uh, attack gems wouldn't really work as well for Balrog as like meter or defense gems work. The reason why is Balrog is somewhat of a fortress and he needs the meter to kind of build stuff for his partner as a battery who can do more with the meter that he has trouble with. The good news is Balrog does have some good meter options, but if he's a battery for his opponent and his opponent comes in with attack gems burning and a lot of meter, he can kill them easily. I have a, uh, a Balrog Marduk set play that kills off one knockdown using that same theory. So that is why I have Balrog with me too. I'm ready. Fight! Take on Let the madness begin! Fight! Alright, here we go. Show no mercy. Oh no! Just walked right into an overhead. Man, LPN has been doing great. Like, what? So this was actually the first set of this tournament, I believe. It didn't go so well for LPN, but it's going much better now. We talked about it earlier. Uh, watch what you're doing against Law, because Junkyard Combo can punish those things other characters can't. Oh, just... YOLO pond oh, <laughs> parried. So yeah, that's really good. The EX version of that parry still leaves her with her neutral jump attack. So neutral jump, EX parry, and then the heavy kick will still have the splits kick. And that could blow people up really bad. Just just like LPS it seems to be uh blowing up pink in a really unfortunate way. Looking like uh Majin Buu right now. Exploding. Uh, 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 uh. Um, and yeah, for
for those wondering about edge jump lows, they are really good, but if you have meter, you can option select this pretty easily. And I'm pretty sure Punk knows what that is. Because he was asking earlier, um, he forgot how to do Alpha Counter, but once he had it, he started doing a lot more stuff to stop those empty jumps. Uh oh! So this time, Max in the chat was saying earlier, people just check you off that CADC. That's what happened there. Jin 3 frame crouching low, stop whatever LP wanted to do, likely the uh, EX overhead. With Jury, not with Warrock. Jury's is just CADC with a charge and then do a normal whatever kick and then he's with combo. Anyway, does Puck know how to play this? Yes, he does. So I played him and he had enough awareness of his combos and his tech and his neutral know what he was doing. So yes, he does know how to play this. Keep in mind, it's Grand Boss. Not like everyone they beat are buffed, so please have a little politeness in that. For now, though, LPN is on reset point. If he wins this, he'll reset the bracket. With a 3-0 win on his back, and all of them that comes with it. Let's see how the Punker responds. The Pinker Punker Picker Upper. Will you pick up this win and then run it back three straight? I won't hold back. I'm ready. Fight! It's all on the line! Fight! I'm over here! <laughs> Alright, so... That's what Pug's really good at. Just picking people and then confirming off whatever he tests with. In the case of Law's stand light kick, it's a really good button to test with for that situation. Oh, you got a kid that got punished or just your presence something. Uh, uh, uh. Turnabout is fair play. We're talking about LPN with a head full of steam. That steam just hit a brick wall and has been derailed. Don't blink! First hit is mine! Oh, oh, come on, he just converted. He's getting a little bit too crazy now. And as I said before, on Law, jumping is typically bad. Be careful. Jumping on Law too much. Good news is he is getting right angles. I think uh, Punk forgot that the light kick would actually stop and get a full juggle off that cross-up. So the medium kick, flip kick, keeps him still. The light kick version moves him backwards. The light kick version will destroy cross-ups in a really big way. I think it's been a while for Punk, they kind of forgot about that. But he can tell he knows the purposes of these moves if he's using them in that situation. Because Punk did say it's been a while, but uh, you can talk the combos in his neutral. He still has some idea what to do as uh, how this game works. So some of the tools might be a bit fuzzy. See, and he still knows the junkyard punish. Look at that. That is effortless. Nice. He's being careful not to throw out too many lows now. Ah! Oh! Looking pretty bad. And even if Warwan gets out, Jury. Yeah. Jury is still a uh, low health character. So this is going to. That's a lot of heavy punches. Wow, that hurts. All that unscaled damage front loaded in a really bad way. Well, bad for LPN. For Punk, that was actually pretty good. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, you DP through it. It is Jerry's turn. You blocked, and you got a happy birthday! Alright, not quite enough. Uh, Lock got out. Uh, da 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 da. It is now 2 1 LPN. Yeah, Max saying it best. The uh, light flip kick that moves Law backwards, that's how you kill cross-ups like that jury situation where Flip didn't hit anything. And then the MK is for regular jump-ins. And unfortunately for Jury, I am pretty sure no matter what, either Flip kick would have stopped that ambiguous uh, foot stomp that Jury's been killing people with all throughout this tournament. So that's a big tool that LP has been abusing that Law can just laugh at. 
Hence the, uh, the phrase that I've been issuing the last three hours or so. Against law, jumping is banned. You have to beat law on the ground. And LPN um, has actually done a really good job doing that against law. The only thing I would like to see more of is for LPN to take a deep breath, stop the scrambles, and wait until he's much lower on health to kind of do those scrambles. Oh no! We said earlier, LPN, take a breath! You don't have to go that ham all the time! Remember who you're playing. Even if he hasn't played in a while, Punk is still Punk. He is someone with a lot of reputation and a lot of practice against some really strong players of all kinds of styles. Which means he knows how to take a breath and not get lost in the scramble. Patience. Slow and steady wins the race, as Ieyasu Tokugawa would say. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of a janky uh, situation there. Yeah, Law's Raw Launcher moves him in really weird directions. Jack has that problem too, where he's got a big read, you might not get the launch and you just die for making the right, the right call, basically. Yes, so while Jin can, while Law can blow up that big stomp, Jin has some problems with that. Jin's best anti-airs are typically uh, if they're jumping in front of him. Behind him, not so much. <laughs> I like, uh, Warlock's well, voice acting like, what? What are you talking about? No one likes dive kicks. Well, yeah, we had, like, a gamut of Rufus and Yun over the years. We kind of soured on the notion for a bit. I think it's fine to bring him back now, though. I think I figured it out lately. Kuma's dive kick isn't as bad as it was. Because Kuma's dive wasn't that good before. It was always like, blah, blah, blah. It was Rufus or Yun. Let's focus on this match. Some of dive kicks later, or Huarong's dive kick that just got stomped. It's not only Team Free, but Team Dive kick as well. They're still getting happy birthday! All this time, Jerry was just taking the brunt of that, even though she had been active in quite some time. Galaxy Brain was able to pay off dividends for the Punker, and he is now tied at it too. Anyway, dive kicks. Rufus just got nerfed this game, but they're still really good. Empty dive kick into a uh, button, because Rufus has some good buttons in this game, is really devastating. Brent was driving me nuts with that for months, doing that. I'm ready. Fight! So yeah, dive kicks games are actually pretty good. Not as dominating as they were in the early parts of the PF360 era. To a point where you need your own game dedicated to dive kicks. How stupid dive kicks were getting. Yeah. Anyway, it is now tied at two. What'll happen? End the tournament or a new beginning? Seems like the prophecy of Jin getting bodied is looking more and more false. Ah, you could have more of that. But hey, hard knockdown. Go for it. Oh, you got checked. Watch your, watch your knees, my friend. I will say watch your balls, but actually the right play too. That was a crouching light punch. Anyway, watch your uh, lower body. Uh, uh, uh. Just walking forward. Yeah, Jerry could afford to take that throw. She has a pretty big life lead right now. But if she is not careful, Jim will do nothing instantly. Oh, no. You flinch. Yeah, that back dash, you just keep doing that. Um, wave dash in the back dash is almost impossible to punish. Like, you would see people just do it again and again just to frustrate people. You have to say, nap, still their turn. If I do something, I'll just eat a, uh, jammy and pick the face. That's what happened there. Alright! Punk is on tournament points! Uh, 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 all right, Jury, what you gonna do? Very cautious. Don't jump! Oh, you jumped! Why did you jump? Have we not been saying the last three hours against Law, jumping is banned? 
<laughs> so well for LPN though. No, no, now he's remembering the combos for real. <laughs> he's definitely getting that muscle memory back. Is this the end? Oh, you. That's weird. He got the uh, the easy comp for some reason. So heartbreaking. Going so well. He was actually doing pretty well against Punk on the ground when he didn't go full Anga, but then he went the air. And as we said, jumping his band on Law. Yeah, Jim Fowl is really cool. That Dark Hole stuff. Oh, this is dire. Yep, still your turn. That's safe. Oh, he could have killed him there. He's playing his food now. Ah! As we were ranting and ranting and ranting and ranting and ranting about flip kicks, what finished the job? EX flip kick. PG Pink, the punker himself, is now your July 2020 Pandora's Mayhem Champion for the Street Fighter Cross Tekken North American Discord Tournament. Big round of applause to everyone who played.